Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome back to Farm Simulator 15 Mod Show. Today we have a tractor and it is the Massey Ferguson 7626. Now this is by the same people that made the class Axion 950 so I'm expecting some good things. It's 125,536 to buy, it's £60 a day, 191 kilowatt, 260 horsepower. So let's get that. Now, on the website, I can see a lot of details like gone into this already, and there's some facts about it, and I, I imagine these are from the Massey Ferguson official retailer or whatever. Um, this must be the facts about this exact tractor. So its rate of power is 179 kilowatt, 243 horsepower. Its max power is 194 kilowatt, 264 horsepower, and its max PTO power is 145 kilowatt, 197 horsepower. Its dimensions displacement is uh, 7,364 CTM, uh, 7.4. Uh, a litre, I guess. 449 CIN. I don't know what the CIN means. The cylinders is 6. Valves number 24. Bore. No, this is stuff I don't even understand. Bore. I don't know what bore is. Uh, 108 millimeter. 4.252 inch. Stroke. 134 millimeter. 5.276 inch. Compression. 7.8 call on 1. I don't even know what that means. Uh, I didn't really read up on it to burst, but yeah, so and its max speed is 150 kilometers per hour. Uh, we, I mean, I run this game in miles per hour, so, but I think that's around 30, I think. Anyway, let's do a clip test. There should be no problems with this, because this is quite a good tractor. Uh, from what I've heard and seen. Right, so let's get in it. Oh, wow. Right. So we've got a uh, PTO, uh, not PTO, so IC. And we do start off on the inside. That's good. I like that. So outside, start her up, see what she sounds like. Cool. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, oh, what's this? Turn on and off radio, turn off and climate thing, open iris, so oh, it's just the, uh, the blind, some blind. Ah, oh, what's that? Open GPS, GPS is on, open right door, open left door. Uh, it says open control panel, but let's just put the steering column down so you can, so you know, it's in like driving position. Oh, look how laid back the driver is. He's like, he's in a position where he's like not even working. He's just like, yeah, proper chill. <laughs> but I mean, if you're going to be sat in this for hours on end, uh, you need it to be quite comfy. Yeah, back window. Nope, nothing else. So, turn that on. Uh, obviously, we need the steering column down, radios on. Sweet. Um, no IC on the outside, right. Let's have a look at lights. One, two, three, four, five. Five is front, uh, six is rear, seven. There's nothing. Eight is front jewels. Nine is rear jewels. Cool. So that's uh, if you're working in the field and well, uh, compression. So that's basically what it's for. The more wheels you have, the less compression on the soil. Do we have beacons? We do. We have normal lights. Cool. Right, let's do a speed. Oh, look at that. Thing moves forward. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's really bouncy, but... Cool. 
So I told you, 31, 50 kilometers per hour. 31 mile per hour. So yeah, I told you it was around about 30. Turning. Why so far? Uh, looks fine. Yeah. You know, sticks to the ground quite well. Doesn't kick out, which is good. Right, let's test up how it hooks up. See what it could hook up to. Uh, obviously, it is. Is that even a three point on the back, or is that only a two point? I imagine it's a three point. You just the extra part is a uh, obviously an addition. Well, that tractor then, I can't be really bothered to move it. Um, I'll try the cultivator because that's obviously a three point. I'm gonna try a two point cultivator, and I'm also gonna try uh, a pin hitch thing. All right. Three things here we need to test. So I'm going to test the front three point first. Yep. So basically, what it does is it just just appears. Yep. So it seems to hook right. It's good. Let's have a look at the uh, the rear linkage. See if it. Looks all right. Like I said, this this mod is is a good mod. It's from the same team that made the uh, the class Axion. So yeah, again, hooks up, hooks up pretty perfectly as well. Look at that, spot on. Cool, nicely detailed at the back as well. You know, not horrible colours. Um, Like on the front, the two point. Yep, it's fine. I imagine it works fine on these as well. But we've got to got to check just in case. I actually do need to check a PTO attachment. Oh, I need to buy something with PTO. Yep, works fine. Right, I know this might be silly, but I'm going to try and see if this hooks up at the front. Uh, oh, it does. So it does have one. Where is it? Ah, it's just you know, tucked away right in there. That's cool. It has one. I mean, I couldn't really find a use for a pin hitch on the front. I mean, for dragging things around the yard, perhaps. I don't know. It's in a tray. It's in a shed, and you just need to pull it out. Obviously, you, you wouldn't drive forward with this with this thing. Uh, nah, just wouldn't be possible. Right. The engine sound. There's something about it I like. Oh, hang on. See how on the dash it goes green light when you're going forward, and then and it automatically puts the parking brake on. Right. When I click that, does that? G oh, the GPS logo goes off. That's cool. That's really cool. The GPS logo is on. I don't. I don't think the GPS actually does anything. The mirrors work. Anyway, that's good. And I don't think that, uh, what we call it, change. Oh, it might actually. It, I think it does tell you the temperature. Today, 19 degrees Celsius. Uh, yeah. I'd, uh, I'd give it that. I mean, that might just be coincidence. We'd have to test it on a different day. I mean, if we start using this in a. Let's plays and that, and we go over different days, then we'll probably be able to look at this and then check it again. Right, yep, this hooks up at the back, hooks up perfectly, sweet. Right, I just want a fertilizer thing. Let's see if that hooks up. So, it's got a PTO, so I need to make sure the PTO attaches correctly. PTO looks perfect. Again, PTO perfect. Right, one last thing. Let's see if the hired helper does its job. Um, since we've got a cultivate here, we might as well use it.
Okay, so it works on its own with me driving it, and then let's just stick the hired helper on. Off you go. You just see how it turns and that, and if it turns alright, then this is a spot on mod. I can't really find a fault with it because it is pretty good. I just hope he turns the right way I want him to. Yeah, it's going that way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. At least he's he's turning. Just don't hit anything. I mean, he's cut a lot out, but I'm, that's more the cultivator than the tractor. Cut that, he's cut out. Damn. That's why I don't like using short cultivators. I prefer to use the um, the really wide ones because it usually captures stuff like that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this Farmer Summit 15 mod show. That was the Massey Ferguson 7626. Honestly, probably one, if not the best tractor I've looked at. No, probably one of the best tractors I've looked at because I can't actually remember all the tractors that I've looked at and how good they were. But that, definitely top five possibly top three if there if if there is anything above it um brilliant mod definitely recommend it it's cheap it's cheerful works honestly it works perfectly um like i said it's from the same people that made the uh the class axiom um and the class axiom was brilliant too so yeah i can see me definitely using this in my uh family summit 15 let's play but yep, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, favourite and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Some more Family Simulator 15 mods. ta -ra.